Well, it took some time, but finally, we got our flood sensors. So these are a pack of uh, two Shelly flood sensors, and I'm going to open up this package and let's see what we got inside. I'm going to rip this open. Should have two flood sensors in here. One and two. Anything else in here? Nope. Don't need that. So we have our, our two Shelly flood sensors that I'm going to put in the house here. And let's see what's in this box right here. It also has a temperature measurement, which I wasn't aware of. Awesome. Okay, cool. So what we have is the uh, QR code for joining their Facebook group. Don't care about that right now. And inside, a nice little package thing. They're so tiny. A lot smaller than I thought they would be. Let's dump that out. And empty box. And we have some, uh, we have the user guide. So we'll look at that later. Nice little foam. And this cute little thing is going to be our flood sensor. And look at the back here. You've got three, three sensors and it sits on the ground. And if water contacts those sensors, then we get an alarm. So that's all there is to it. We've got a second one in this box. We'll get that one set up too. I'll show you uh, how to set these up in Home Assistant and we'll go from there. The first thing we're going to do is twist this so that it opens up. So you turn it counterclockwise and then just kind of pop it open. Maybe. Oh, there we go. So now you have two halves. Focus. Two halves. And there's a place for a battery in there. There you go. Place for a battery. And we're going to use this CR123A 3 volt battery. And it's labeled plus and minus. I don't you can probably can't see that, but plus is at the top in this thing, so we'll put plus up top here. And once you do that, it should stay in there like that, and you see that your light's flashing slowly. And we'll put the cover back on so it'll stay in there. And now you can see that light's flashing S slow and steady. Okay, we'll connect to Shelly Flood Wi-Fi. Go to our browser, 192.168.33.1. We will go to Internet and Security. Wi-Fi mode client, so we want to connect to an existing Wi-Fi network. And we'll put in our Wi-Fi network. And this is not the real password. And we'll set a static IP address 172.168.1.34 with a net mask of 34, 172.168.1. minus 254. No DNS, and we'll save that. We're going to jump over here to Home Assistant and we're going to install using HACS, the Shelly client or the Shelly uh, integration. So if we click on integration, search for Shelly, you'll see the Shelly for Hass integration. You can click on that right there and install. HACS makes it super easy for installation and tracking of your your integrations and your plugins themes, that kind of thing. If you don't have this, I highly recommend you go get the HACS. So the next thing we have to do after we install the the Shelly integration in HACS is to go to either a terminal or Visual Studio co Code or Configurator, whichever thing you use. I'm going to use Terminal. That starts a terminal session. I'm going to change my config directory and I'm going to edit using Vim the uh, configuration.yaml file. Just 
go ahead down here in a blank spot and I'm going to this is as good a spot as any insert and I'm going to do put the word Shelly and it indented for me for some reason I'm not going to do that Shelly on a new line right there and save it and now I need to restart HASIO. So HASIO configure a uh, Home Assistant check. And they've changed recently to instead of using HASIO, we're going to use HA. We're checking the files. That'll take a second or two. Okay, after a couple of restarts. We're now seeing the Shelly integration. And you can see our Shelly flood sensor right here. And that's now been added to Home Assistant. And if we go to Developer Tools and States, we should also see it there as well. Yep, so we have a binary sensor, Shelly flood. And we have a sensor Shelly temperature sensor. And neither one of those have any information, so let me uh, push the button. And you can see now that we have a solid red light that that's up and running. It's reporting anyway. And um, there's their IP address, the ID, the battery status. It's disconnected from the cloud, which is the way I plan on running it. And then, of course, the temperature right now of 74 degrees on the desk here, uh, and then the same kind of information. So that does it. Uh, we now have the Shelly sensor installed in our uh, local network. It doesn't rely on the cloud. And next video, what I'll do is I'll show you how I can utilize the Shelly sensors in uh, some node red automation in case it detects water uh, to send me some alerts. So appreciate you watching, like the video, subscribe below, and as always send me any questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.